Japan just unboxed five fully functional female humanoid robots. There is no doubt that the technological advance in humanoid robots is starting to accelerate as humanity moves closer to the singularity. Despite being far from Netflix's altered carbon star future, we are still doing incredible things in robotics, artificial intelligence, and engineering. It is, without a doubt, Japan that comes in first place on this list. Japan has been making robots that no one has ever wondered about for decades. In order to make this list even longer, they have created five fully functional female humanoid robots that no other country has ever made before. So let's talk about them in today's video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. Let us start the video. Number 1. Actroid Lifelike robot Actroid SIT makes its debut today from Japanese firm Kokoro, but it hasn't received as much attention as her cousin Geminoid F, which is an exact copy of a real woman. Although Geminoid F is a humanoid robot that can be teleoperated, Actroid SIT can act autonomously while interacting with humans by talking and gesturing. Recently, researchers have demonstrated how small changes to the behavior of Actroid can make it look much smarter and more expressive than your average humanoid. As a result of this, Actroid can now make eye contact and gesture to a person trying to speak to her, so she can handle crowds of people with ease. Researchers from the Nara Institute of Science and Technology studied how individuals and groups interact with robots in order to develop new behavior. According to their observations, they focused on two new features, interoperability and motion parameterization, with the hope of improving human-robot interaction. This feature allows Actroid SIT to handle interruptions gracefully. The researchers noted that interruptions occurred about 26% of the time during their human-robot interaction experiments. Perhaps the human switched topics or handed off the speaking role to someone else. Using the new interruptibility feature, the robot can end its current topic and gracefully transition to the new response. When it was interruptible, people interacted significantly longer with the robot. Researchers also tested Actroid SIT with a motion parameterization system. Therefore, her 18 gestures, such as pointing and waving, adapt to the location of the speaker, allowing the person to feel that the robot is paying attention to them. Even though the researchers say that this improvement is going to make a huge difference in how people perceive the Actroid, they maintain that it remains far from a natural conversation. According to participants, the humanoid was friendlier, more sensitive, sophisticated, and warmer when the new gesturing system was used, as compared to a typical gesture approach. Number 2. Nadine Social robotics emphasizes the importance of human-robot interaction as an integral part of the framework. Social robots need to be able to interact with humans and other physical agents in order to understand the social cues and behaviors involved. Here we describe Nadine, a robot that is capable of expressing human-like emotions, personalities, behaviors, and even dialogue, and that is capable of perceiving both user and environmental cues and responding to them realistically and naturally. As part of her presence in several museums, Nadine exhibits speech recognition and synthesis, gaze, face, object recognition, affective system, dialogue interaction capabilities, etc. Nadine was created by Kokoro, Japan, in 2013, and is inspired by Professor Nadia Magnana Thalman. With a full body and a natural appearance, Nadine has a head and a full head of hair. Nadine, a software platform developed at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University's Institute for Media Innovation, can show emotions, speak naturally, understand some gestures, and remember and retrieve facts during dialogue sessions. The arm movements of Nadine are also interacted with. Research is ongoing for an articulated hand and natural grasping for the social robot. Nadine is also linked to all kinds of databases, including its own dataset, Wikipedia, weather channels, and plenty more. This is why Nadine has to have key characteristics of a social robot, and the proposed architecture is generic and easy to customize. As mentioned before, a social robot's main role is to communicate and interact with humans by following social rules. Because of its familiarity with its role, its operation would also depend on where it is deployed. Moreover, one of the submodules in Nadine's architecture is face recognition. Nadine uses the identity of the person to customize her resources and behavior. This information can also be used by the effective module to change emotions, moods, etc. For speech recognition, Nadine uses the Google Cloud speech-to-text model, which supports up to 120 languages. After a verbal response has been determined for a given situation, there are two main tasks. 
speech synthesis based on the provided response and the tone of the conversation, and lip synchronization. And based on Nadine's actions and the current context, she would need to adjust her behaviors and reactions, verbal and nonverbal, to enhance human robot interaction. This design uses action recognition as a submodule of the perception layer to function as a stimulus to change Nadine's responses and behaviors. In Nadine's design, the perception layer submodule considers object recognition as a stimulus, to which Nadine can respond depending on the user's conversation. The context and the task at hand, using the objects detected around Nadine as stimuli, her platform allows her to respond and, for example, provide information about them. And using face recognition technology, Nadine is able to recognize people in a crowd and utilizes Nadine's episodic memory to retrieve past conversations and recall appropriate past sentences that can be used appropriately in a current conversation. This is part of the processing layer in Nadine's application. In Nadine, eye gaze is controlled based on a real-time neck eye motion generation scheme, which provides an analytical solution for this problem. Nadine divides her attention between all the users in her vicinity. She uses social features like social distance, whether a specific user within a group is known, and whether they are speaking or moving. And as part of Nadine's processing layer, the effective system controls Nadine's mood and emotions while she interacts. It is responsible for simulating the impact of emotions on social robots using an emotion engine. This is why Nadine's dialogue manager focuses on generating appropriate responses to user speech inputs. Now, number three, Alter. As the name suggests, Alter is a robot developed for the purpose of exploring what it means to be lifelike. Alter appears to be a machine that has been stripped bare of its all components. In spite of this, it conveys lifelikeness through complex movements. There are movements that appear haphazard. However, these movements are based on an algorithm mimicking the logic of neural circuits of living things that change constantly. As you observe closely, a moment of lifelikeness emerges. How would you describe this moment? Well, the body of Alter does not move in ways that are predetermined. Instead, it moves in a way that is determined in real time by the movement of its entire body. Additionally, the sensors that detect your actions also reflect that back to your movements. In fact, it has been found that a central pattern generator, CPG, creates a basic rhythm that is cyclical yet gradually deviates from the original pattern. As a result, a neural network of 1,000 nerve cells is recreated on the computer, and Alter learns lifelike movements based on signals sent from the sensors. In order to create Alter, a team of researchers worked together. One of them is a researcher of androids, which are robots that appear to be identical to human beings and another is a researcher of artificial life, which attempts to replicate life on a computer. The question that they ask is the same one. What is life? But the hypotheses surrounding it differ. Number 4. Asuna The robotics professor Hiroshi Ishiguro showcased his latest creation, the humanoid Asuna at the Tokyo Designers' is Week. Described as a geminoid, Asuna attracted a lot of attention from visitors at the show who commented that the robot had a nice voice and was very human-like. There is only one device that Asuna relies on, the camera installed behind her. This camera is linked to a remote, human controller, and she comes to life, taking the personality of its operator. Currently, Asuna isn't equipped with artificial intelligence, AI, face and voice recognition systems, but a fully autonomous version should be released in 10 years, said Takeshi Mita. CEO of A-Lab in Tokyo. Mita is working together with Professor Ishiguro to bring Asuna to life. Mita said, We already have 20 years of experience in making humanoids in the lab, so in 10 years we will be able to perfect our AI and lifelike geminoids. We have been focusing on perfecting her skin, facial expressions, etc. For the moment, as a result, Asuna is just ahead. We are now working on her arms and torso to give a very natural, fluid body language. And talking about Asuna, she looks like a cute 15-year-old girl, standing about 155 centimeters tall and weighing about 43 kilograms. In fact, this robot is so human-looking that even the reporter covering the convention got confused, thinking it was one of the idols from the AKB48 band. Asuna has intricate facial features, including ears that feel soft and squishy like real ears. Currently, she can do nothing but blink, yawn, and make a few other cute expressions, all controlled remotely by a human. And finally, number 5, Erika. In Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, Hiroshi Ishiguro developed Erika in conjunction with his colleagues, among Japan's most intelligent humanoids. She is also noted for her ability to speak fluently. 
Even though Erika is not able to walk, she is able to interact with humans and change her expressions based on what people are saying to her. The reason why Erika can do this is that she has 15 infrared sensors built into her eyes that can detect movement. She also has speech generation and facial recognition software, so she can monitor multiple faces at once in the same room. She has 44 different degrees of freedom in her face, neck and waist, so she is able to make a lot of different facial expressions. And that's it for today's video. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And catch you in the next one. Until then, stay home and stay safe.